If you would like to see how I created this stone looking brick, stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you today? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Okay, so I finally have a tutorial video for you guys. Yay! I will be sharing with you how I achieved this brick slash stone looking ensemble here. <laughs> uh, let's see, kind of bring you up a little bit and kind of show you what's going on here in this picture. I finally started one out of Aeropole. Apple Forest Girl coloring book and I had to kind of man my nerves or woman my nerves <laughs> to start in this beautiful beautiful coloring book because I just I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna mess it up I don't I saw this page colored here and I was like oh it was a beautiful I think by Chris Chang or someone but yes guys it's such a beautiful book and I did not want to just willy-nilly be like doing crazy stuff in it so this page kind of fell out so I was like okay what better page to start than the one that fell out <laughs> or I kind of ripped it out by mistake some kind of way I don't know but anyway so I have done a few other elements on the page and as you can see I finally got to play with my glossy accents yay oh I love it guys I absolutely love it yes guys so <clears throat> excuse me I'm just gonna start out by explaining some things I had to get used to the very 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 light line art I think that was another thing that I was really afraid of in this book I'm not used to coloring light line art. I'm used to bold line art that shows through my coloring and you see it once you put the color down, you know, and this is super, super, super light lines. But as I started coloring and getting used to it, I really started to kind of like it, guys. So we might be kind of on to something here. <laughs> I'm definitely ready to tackle other pages in the uh, Forest Girl book. So I wanted to get on here and do a little bit of a tutorial with you guys. I plan on having a lot, a lot more videos coming soon, a lot more interactions with you guys because I have been gone long enough and I have to make up for some lost time, okay? All right, so let's just jump right on into it. I will be using my lovely, lovely, lovely handy dandy Stadler pencil sharpener, which I absolutely love. And we will be using Prismacolor pencils. I will be using the only these four colors here. And this is the blender pencil. I will be using Sandbar Brown Warm Gray. Actually, it's for the grout on the in the middle of the bricks. I will use Sandbar Brown, Sandbar Brown, Peach Beige, and Moss Green. Okay. So those are going to be my colors. So let me zoom you in so you can really get a good look at what we are doing here so let me start off by sharpening my pencil a little bit and let me just share with you guys again in case you didn't see my last uh, pencil sharpener review on this I will link it above in the corner right hand corner this pencil sharpener can do two sets. I use the um I should use this with my Prismacolor pencils because I can get this you see this very short wood casing and lead point or I can get for the different other pencils or if I have a Prismacolor that's not split and acting really really crazy, I can use the smaller hole. Okay, so the bigger hole gets the short 
uh, lead. You have to stick it in straight in, push kind of hard, and you see how this pencil is actually kind of split in the middle. So I have to be careful with this pencil. That's why I like it to have a short, shorter lead. And for a pencil that's not split like this one that I can just do whatever I want with, I can use the smaller hole and I can get that long super point like that. And I also have a new pencil sharpener, the Dale 133, which I really like that, but I haven't been using it a whole, whole lot. So let's start with doing our grout lines. I really like the Dale pencil sharpener, but I don't use it a whole lot because I'm not, I'm not I don't color a whole, whole lot at my desk uh, anymore for the most part, unless I'm doing like a video and then it's just easier to get my Stadler pencil sharpener out. So that was easy. I only had a few grout lines to do because I had already done the rest of them. So just fill in your grout lines with your warm gray, 30% warm gray. And you're pretty much done with that pencil. That's it for that. Let me get my brush. So that we can brush off the page. Next, we're going in with our sandbar brown. And let me kind of turn these bricks this way. And make sure... I am completely in frame with you guys because you know I will get out of frame with you. So you got to tell your girl when she's acting crazy. So kind of a light touch, guys. You know I have a heavy hand. So a light touch to me is probably not a light touch to a lot of you guys, but kind of a medium. <laughs> I don't think I can even do a light touch, but a medium touch with your sandbar brown and just randomly just go scribbling in different places and make kind of like different patterns on all your bricks with that sandbar brown. And I think I want to go make that shadow near all my objects. Okay, that's all my bricks. Yes, that's all of my bricks. Next, we're gonna come in with the peach beige. And we're going to, with a lighter hand, with well, light hand, not light hand, medium pressure, we're going to kind of go close to wherever you put, not necessarily on top of where you put the sandbar brown, but like beside it. You don't have to cover up all the white space because we're going to use our blender pencil to kind of get that taken care of. All right, so it's very, very easy, super easy guys. Just you randomly, placing color on the bricks or stone. Then we're gonna take our moss green and we're gonna be very sparingly with this one. And we're going to put that randomly in areas in a few of the white areas. And then like in the middle kind of, just kind of like a few dots of the green cause we don't want that green to overpower it. We don't want to look like the bricks have moss on them. Not in the house at least. Maybe if it was outside that would be okay, but we don't want moldy bricks out in the house, okay? And I forgot to put some peach putty beige. Not putty. Is it peach beige? Yeah, peach beige. I forgot to put some here. All right, so we got that done. Easy peasy. Now we're going to take our blender pencil and with a light kind of medium pressure, you're going to go in a circular motion and just drag that color around. Be very careful not to touch 
um, any of the other items that you've already colored. I need to get a piece of paper so I can clean my blender pencil off because you will move that color around. And this one doesn't seem like it has enough color on it. So let me put a little bit more peach beige and sandbar brown on it. You can tell when you don't have enough color on something. When that Prismacolor pencil starts to feel really scratchy, there's not enough color to move around. Yeah, so that's better. All right, so you can go in circular motions. You can go side to side. You can go up to up and down just as long as you pull the color towards the white area. Don't start at the white area and think you're going to pull color opposite. <laughs> like, don't start at the white area and think you're going to get that white area covered up. You have to pull the color towards the white area. And don't press too, too hard or else it'll feel a little bit scratchy. Kind of give it medium pressure. And if you feel, if it feels like super scratchy or like it's kind of dragging on the paper, that means you need to put a little bit more, lay a little bit more color down. Okay. I think that's it. That is it. All I want to do with that. Next, I want to add kind of some crackled effects to the brick to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to take my sandbar brown and just make some squiggly kind of lines to make it kind of look like it's kind of distressed or cracked from each side. Okay, I think that's it. Now next, I want to take my sandbar brown and go over the, not mortar. What do you call this in the middle? Whatever this is in the middle that I'm coloring right now. I said it earlier in the video, but it has left me right now Could, because I don't want it to be like super super gray so just kind of go over that with the sandbar brown then go back over it just a little bit just to give it a little something something with the peach beige and that kind of takes the white out of the edges also Let's give you a little dimension. Okay. All right. I think that is done. Let me zoom you guys out. What do you think? Do you think that's done? I think that's done. That's done, guys. We're we're done with that. So that's that's it. That's that. That was super quick, wasn't it? Super quick, super easy. So that's how you do this rendition of green mossy brick slash stone. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give this video a big old thumbs up. If you enjoy adult coloring, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you have not already subscribed to the channel. And please stay tuned for more tutorials like this one. And I will be seeing you guys in the next episode, okay? Happy coloring, guys. Bye.